Uh, anyway, so um, in this case, I've already done the photos, um, and this is kind of the final product. Um, I haven't I worked on the windows for these yet, so um, they're still a little blown out. When you have a house that's really dark inside, um, and you do HDR, your windows will be much more blown out than if you did flambient but there is a way to fix that um, and you would do window poles um, so either use one of your um, oops oh, photos sorry um, you would use either one of your um, raw files um, or do two different um, bracketed shots. I'm um, not gonna worry about that for this one because I'm more worried about showing how to do the merging. Um, like I said, these aren't real edited. This was just thrown together. Uh, so there are three programs, well, four programs I like to use. One, my favorite is Aurora HDR. Uh, by Skylum, but Skylum no longer makes Aurora HDR and they do not offer it as an option um, to, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find the right house. They no longer offer it as an option to purchase. Um, the next best bet from Skylum then is to use Luminar Neo, um, which is does a good job as a photo editor but they can also do that HDR merge as well. Um, the only problem with Luminar Neo is that it, uh, um, you cannot do batch processing. So for me, I could have 20 to 40 photos for a house and I would have to select each set of brackets of five that I do once and do that every single time for those 20 to 40 photos whereas aurora hdr for example i could throw all um you know uh, all 100 photos the five um and um it would auto populate the fives together and then i could go in and have it merge all the photos at once um usually takes five ten minutes um so your option would be get a luminar neo or the other option is to get photomatics or you can do um lightroom infuse which is a plug-in um i do not recommend um the uh, Lightroom, if you go up here, uh, sorry, I'll select five photos, group it together. Um, if you go to, I don't even know how to do it now, hold on. Um, oh my gosh, give me a second, I, I don't even do it, so, uh, oh, photo merge, do photo merge in HDR, your photos will look like garbage, don't do this version. Um, so to start, um, let's start with Lightroom Infuse, which is a plug-in. Um, I am trying to see if there is a website link I can give you. Um, I don't remember what it is. Cancel. Uh, let's go to Plugin Manager. Um, Lightroom Infuse. Oh, don't steal my license, please. Um, <laughs> so this right here, Photographer's Toolbox photographers dash toolbox.com backslash products backslash lr infuse.php um that is where you'll get the plugin they ask for like three euros or something that's like four or five bucks um it's well worth it um so once you have that set up um you would go through and take select your five images or three images depending on how you bracket and then um command g um or that'd be control g on a windows computer um or you can do <laughs> whatever the control alt i think is what it is so control and then click with your mouse and stacking and group into stack 
that's the other option. Um, so I just do the shortcuts because um, I've been doing this forever. Anyway, so and then you select all of your grouped or stacked items and go to File, Plugin Extras, and Blend Exposures using Lightroom and Fuse. Um, you do want to make sure that you have things set up. Um, appropriately, I do have automatically align images before blending them. Um, you want that to um, happen or else you'll get weird alignment. Um, and I try to have re everything weighted about the same. Um, output, this is important. Um, do batch mode so you don't have to do each one individually. Um, and you want the images, um, it's easy just to put them in the same folder. Um, and you want to set up um, how you want to name your files. Um, I just app um, append it. So basically, if the um, down here you'll see like image 0021.cr2, it'll change it to image 0021fuse. Dot, um, and then the file format. Um, t in this case, a TIFF. Um, you can also select JPEG. Um, I prefer TIFF, it's easier to edit. And then you also want to re-import to Lightroom. Um, and you do not want to open blended file and folder because every time it creates the uh, new picture from the merge, it'll pop open the folder. And do keep, um, I personally uh, keep all of my metadata information in there, um, or EXIF data is the other thing, then um, click Infuse. Um, my big issue with Lightroom and Fuse and why I have gone away from it is the images are really flat and it takes more editing um, once they're fused to um, uh, it just takes more editing after they're fused. Um, so, um, I know I had somebody ask me, um, I had somebody ask me, um, three or five brackets. And I have done three brackets, but I prefer five brackets. And I do them at two stops apart. And that is because um, it, it, it gives you more range. Um, I, the three, three brackets you can get away with in a pinch, um, but I honestly think five by two, it gives you much more range. And it's um, a, a better range, especially if you're dealing with windows. Um, but I still find there are times that you need to um, do window pulls even with HDR um, and so how I would do that with HDR is I would set my camera up so that um, your zero point is at zero on the camera and then you do plus or minus two plus or minus four and then you take that same picture again but you set your neutral point to negative two and then you do plus or minus two above that and below that and then plus or minus two and four below above below that negative two start point um, and then i both process them and then i edit the neutral the zero neutral photo for the room and then the darker photo i edit for the window and then i pull both photos into um, Lightroom, or sorry, I pull both photos into Adobe Photoshop and um, uh, as a layer, sorry, as layers, and then um, do a window pull to you. Um, so this isn't the best example. But you, how you would do that is um, you'd select the two images that you want to do the window pull for, and then do Control or Alt on a Windows computer, edit in, and then open as layers in Photoshop. 
Um, and this isn't set up for me to do window pulls, so this isn't going to be a good end result. But I'm um, sorry, I was messing with the beta Photoshop, so that's what we're going to use right now. Um, use the real Photoshop. Um, there are restrictions in what you can do commercially with uh, beta uh, versions of Photoshop. Um, but anyways, it'll take, I've got a bunch of stuff going on. So you'll see here that it will load up um, both images in one spot as layers. Um, I've turned this layer off. You'll Oops, these are not even the same image. Dumbass. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. I could get the right image here. Um, that's embarrassing. Um, what the hell? Sorry. Share two. Uh, one, two, three, four. Apparently, I didn't use that image. Okay, so that would be why. Okay, so here, this would be a better one. Um, and you want to make sure when you do the um, window pulls, you do not want your lens correction done. You do not want transformation done yet. You will do those after you do the window pulls. And then here in a second, I will show you Photomatics and um, Luminar Neo. I know. All right, so um, there's a little bit of a difference. Um, just to cover my butt, I um, shift and then select both layers. Got to edit, auto align, and then you want to do auto. And then you'll see, um, I know, go away. Go away! Okay, anyway, I can't. Anyway, so you'll see that there's these gaps in the image. You want to edit this photo down, crop it down. So um, select. Um, generally, you want to do the lighter image because that's the one that's going to be shown. So um, make sure that the light image is what you're looking at. And then um, I do the rectangular marquee tool. And I just. Um, select within and then so I'm not getting any of those out of bounds areas and I go to image and crop okay and then control or command D or control D on a windows um, and then you'll see I eyeball this enough so you'll see there's really no change um, and then Make sure you are pick up anyway, pick a layer. Um, and this will it will vary depending on whether you have the dark layer on top or the dark layer on the bottom. Um, but use sorry the I'm just moving so fast here. The quick selection tool, which is right here. Oh my god, you can't see this. Uh, I'm sorry. I need to switch my screen over. I totally forgot that I had this on. Something totally different. Um, okay, okay, okay. Photoshop data. Okay, anyway, sorry. So you'll see uh, down here is, is your layers that it will have loaded both up in layers. Um, so what I was saying is, oops. So you'll select both like that and then go up here to file, sorry, edit, and then auto align. And it'll show this, and you hit yes. Um, you'll get these weird, like, check mark background area if once it's auto aligned. Um, and then once you're done, you'll select the square mar marquee and select an image without that, and then do image and crop. Um, and then once you've done that, um, do command D. Um, and then make sure you're only selected to one of the images and then use this uh, quick selection tool and 
use it to um, oops, and then the let's see her. Oh, what button is that? Option on a Mac. I might have to. This is not how I, you know, the normal standard image I use. This is just a quick example. And then you will come over here, down in the right hand corner, there's layer mask. Press that. Um, in this case, because the dark, I did the dark layer, which is on top. This is a horrible example. Um, <laughs> this is not something I would send my client. Um, but anyway, because the dark, layer was on top, all you have to do is layer mask. Um, if I were to, sorry, um, if I were to do that with the light layer on top, I would do um, the height, highlight the lighter area, do the layer mask, and then um, while that layer mask is highlighted, do command I to invert it, and then it would pop up correctly. Um, like I said, this specific example is not something I would send my client. I was just doing this to show you how I do the process. Um, and then you would go to File, Save, and it would auto populate that back into. Um, You'll have to give it a minute or so, but it will auto-populate that new image back into Lightroom. Um, so, let me see here. Um, let us start with Photomatics, if I can find out what there is. Okay, Photomatics, I think, I just was looking at my billing statement. Um, is, uh, I think it's like 100 or 120 bucks. Um, but it does a good job, decent enough job fusing images together and it does it as a batch option. Um, sorry, before I forget, I am going to put you back, uh, put you in the right screen. Cause I don't want to do that to you again. Hold on. I gotta find it in my list of crap I can send to you. Uh, Photomatics, where are you? Notification Center, Finder, Photoshop, yes. Cursor, whatever that is. Lightroom, Calendar, DuckDuckGo, Adobe Premiere Rush. No, we're not doing videos right now. Creative Cloud. Oh, is this not an option? Huh. just called something else and just like hold on I mean double check no, no that's what it's called well I guess we're gonna have to go window capture no window capture okay Wait. maybe not Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, well, this wasn't what I had planned on, but... <sighs> okay, this is a little different than I thought. Anyways, um, I am kind of new to the doing... Um, does this pop up? Okay, so it's... Um, I, I don't think it's showing on your screen, but when you hit that browse and load, it'll pop up uh, your, your file system to get files. Um, and uh, let me see here if I can find a house. I haven't messed up yet. Um, okay. Oh gosh. Um, so anyways, then you go through and select your files. Um, in this case, um, well, I'm just going to select a few, so I don't... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 10, 15. I'm just going to select the first 15, so first three images. And do load. It looks like fifth. Um, 
and I got a message that says it looks like the 15 images you selected are part of three bracketed sets. Do you want Photomatics to process each bracketed set in batch mode after you previewed each? Yes. Um, I can either do it as a batch process each of the three bracketed sets or merge all 15 together. Um, I'm going to do batch process of three bracketed sets and tell it OK. Now, you know what? This is being a boob. This is not what I want to show you. And I capture this. Oh, okay. This is way better. Okay, this isn't what I wanted, but it's better. Let's see if. Uh, let's see if Photomatic showed back up in here. Oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. Oh, this is what I want. So, anyways, uh, now Photomatic has um, popped this up. Um, you, you'll have to play with your settings. Oh god, this is horrible. Um, you're gonna have to play with your settings. Um, fusion Natural, Fusion... Uh, oh god. Okay, so uh, Photomatics may not be the best. Uh, Sorry. Um, Fusion Natural probably is the best. Yeah, this is going to be your best option. And then, and then you can go through and... Oh god, no. No. Fusion Natural. Uh, um, anyways, oh, all styles. you got other options in here as well. Um, but what I'm looking at is this. This is... Ridiculous. No. Absolutely not. Um, so this is my one problem with um, Photomatics is the quality is, it's hard to get something right. Um, yeah, some natural right here is going to be your best bet on all of these. Um, saturation, no. Um, you want to do everything here, neutral, strength, exposure balance, sorry. Um, they have updated this app since, um, I <laughs> used it last, so I do apologize. Um, anyways, and then, next. Anyway, I think I have, so the other thing is um, apply presets, and then you can go through and, um, shoot, what was it that I said, the natural one, okay, and then you hit, and then it'll do its thing. Um, anyways, uh, the other option, let me load, if I can find it, and hopefully I didn't stop paying for it. I did stop, I, I wanted to stop paying for it, but Luminar Neo, because I just wasn't using it. You can buy Luminar Neo as a, uh, as a, just you actually buy the software and own the software, or you can buy it as a subscription. Um... The subscription based, so subscription as a service, as AAS, the benefit to that is you're not paying a high upfront fee, but also um, you can turn it on and off as you use it uh, and not use it, and you will always have the most up to date version. Um, the downside is you don't own the software outright. Um, uh, Loom, uh, Skylum can take away the software and say we don't want to support that anymore and you're shit out of luck. So, um, let's see here. I think I'm good. And then application capture. Luminar, yeah, there we go. Okay, 
Alright. Oh, apparently I was doing soccer. Oh, I lost one of this. Alright. So you go to catalog. No. Um. Anyway, so I'm just gonna... Uh, you want to create a new catalog, apparently. Um. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. File. Okay. I can operate my mouse today. I'm sorry. <sighs> All right, and then I want to add photos. I'm just going to add fifteen again just to. So, to do this, you also want to download the photo merge add-on, which is what I've done already, um, when you get Luminar, but select the f five images, and then drag them into that, and then merge, and it will do its thing. Um, this is the only thing I, I love Loom, Skylum's merging, um, HDR merging. Absolutely love their end product. With that said, Luminar, or sorry, Skylum no longer offers Aurora or batch HDR merging. And so for longer term, for more photos, this is really not beneficial. I don't want to say not beneficial, but it's it's very um, time cons you know consuming, um, and so then it'll pop up in a folder HDR merge. I think there's a way. I haven't really played with it. Um, there may be a way to set the settings up to put the HDR merge photo somewhere else. Um, so, anyways, that's your other option. Um, this is uh, so it says that the Sorry, uh, batch processing for photomatics is done. Um, oops, wrong screen. I need to go. Properties. Uh, Lightroom Classic is what I want. All right. So um, we have um, so Lightroom uh, Fuse. Lightroom and Fuse is done it produced this image um, and then um, if you want to um, so it's, what you'll have to do is I already did it on accident when I had the screen changed um, is if the images don't pop up right away for Lightroom and Fuse um, right here above your uh, film strip select this and then select all photographs and then look for the files that are, you know, in my case, labeled um, with fuse.tiff. Um, if you did your photos in Photomatics or Luminar New or, in my case, Aurora HDR, you have to go to the f Import Photos. And then you go to whatever folder you used to um, merge your photos. So in this case, um, Aurora HDR is what I used personally for this set. Um, or you could go to, for example, here, Photomatics Results. Um, and then um, it will, any photo that is not already in your film strip, it will highlight and check mark. Otherwise, if you look here, um, all these images here they're already in my film strip um, these ones are not um, just as an example um, and then you'll import um, so that's just kind of the basic basics to merging um, fudge that's not what I want to do anyway import let me look at the photomatics ones real quick I 
Okay, and then uh, I'll fight out of this. There we go, all fires, okay. Okay. Uh, let's see, I want to look at that one. I want to look at that one. Uh, okay. Um, uh, okay, so this is the Photomatics merge. This is the um, Lightroom Infuse merge. Um, and then let me reset this. Um, so Photomatics, Lightroom Infuse, and Aurora HDR or Luminar. This is Luminar would point out, put out the exact same product um, as this. I've tested compared Aurora to Luminar, and it's the same exact look. Um, so the, that's what you're getting for original. Um, quite honestly. I'm not really impressed with Photomatics. Um, I think Aurora HDR is the best. Or Luminar. But um, those are your op three main options that I would recommend taking on. Anyways, long winded. Um, if you need more help, um, oh, I don't know if that showed. Anyway. Uh, oops. Um, so if you need, just sorry, here's, um, this is, if, in case it didn't show, Photomatics, Lightroom Infuse, uh, Aurora HDR, or Luminar Neo will pop this result up. Um, so you pick, um, you can get a good end result. Um, the biggest thing is if you had done um, just a single shot. Sorry, I'm having issues here. <laughs> so this is, if you wanted a good interior, I mean, a bright enough interior, this is what is gonna happen is your window is gonna be completely blown out. So um, yeah, you still gotta do some work with this. Uh, and quite honestly, this house was, it's a really great house. Um, it just, <laughs> um, the lighting that the owner has, um, it's really hard with that, with the dark. And then there was a lot of shrubbery around and then a very yellow lighting. Um, so something you will have to work on is the white balance. Um, you don't want it too yeah, blue. You still want it a little warm, a little bit, not too bad. Um, one of the big ways right here is the saturation illumination luminance is pulling down the yellow saturation will help quite a bit um so anyway hopefully this helps you a little bit um i know that's a lot i think i tagged on quite a bit for you um so yeah 34 minutes so hopefully that helps you a little bit um i know i was kind of all over the place but those are just some options for you um, anyway, if you have any other questions, you are more than welcome to reach out to me.